Today in this video, I'm about to give y'all the best top five all-time teams in the game and playing online so that you can easily win games or compete against the best. And make sure y'all go crazy with the like button. Number five, I gotta go with the all-time bucks because this team is scary. They got Giannis, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Ray Allen, they got Michael Red, Marcus Johnson, Sidney Marquis, Oscar Robinson. I wish they had Drew Holiday, but you know, it is what it is. And they got Chris Middleton. He, he got add on to this team this year. So this team is fire, man. And they tier two. Even though they're not a tier two team, to me, they're a tier one because look at the stars they had. And not only that, they play defense and they could score at will. Especially Giannis, he's a freaking nation. He could guard all five positions. You could do what you want to do with Giannis. I wish that you have a three ball, but all you gotta do is time it, you be good to go. And Ray Allen, he shoot he shoot a three ball for long distance. He got a Hall of Fame limits range. He got a Hall of Fame catch and shoot. So you can do what you want to do with Ray Allen. And don't forget, you could dribble with this guy. It's also Oscar Robinson, he got a nice jump shot as well. So make sure you use him wisely. So don't forget to use that team. Number four, you gotta go with the all-time bulls. Because guess who they have? You got Michael Jordan to go. You got the youngest MVP, Devin Rose in his prime. You got Sky Pippen will lock you down in all positions. It's at center. He don't play center. But he, he can also play the four. So just in case you need to play small ball. Because a lot of guys like to play, like to play small ball these days. And they got Dennis Robin, but people don't use Dennis Robin like that because he can't shoot. So he kind of take away the spacing. And you got all this Gilmore. That dude is scary. He's 7'2". He can play defense. A lot of guys don't know him because he played in the 70s. But this team is loaded. And they got Zach Levine coming off the bench. You got Jimmy Butler. Sometimes you start him to piss on the situation. And, and you got some other guys too. They got Joe King Noah, the uh, former defensive player of the year. So this team is fire, man. This fun team to use. And Devin Rose is fast as hell, man. And he got a Hall of Fame Clifford Step. It's hard to guard this man one-on-one. -on -one. You got to off-ball this guy, or they're going to try to bring help or double team. Because you can't really hold this man. He moved too damn quick. Because he really fast like that. So this team is fun team to use. Number three, you gotta go with the all-time Spurs because you got Kawhi Leonard, Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Tony Parker, Ginobili. You got George Gervin, the Iceman with the finger, the finger roll. And not only that, when you want to use this team, you can match up against the all-time Lakers because everybody like to use the all-time Lakers so much. So if you if you got a problem with the the matchup, go with the all-time Spurs at all time because they perfect for that matchup. Cause they like David Robinson, he can match up against Shaq. You got Tim Duncan can match up against Kareem Abdul Ball. Sometimes they like, they like to keep him there. Or sometimes Anthony Davis. Depends on the situation with the lineup. You got Kawhi Leonard could guard Kobe Bryant. You got George Gervin could guard Magic Johnson and Tony Parker. You do whatever you want with that guy. You probably gotta bench him and use somebody else that's tall. But at the end of the day, use the Spurs. And not only that, they got Bruce Bowen. I almost forgot about him. How I, I forgot about Bruce Bowen. These guys got Hall of Fame badges on defense, so you're able to slow that down, that BS that people be doing, especially in paint matching. So you got these guys could could stop that nonsense, and you'll be good to go, and they could score at will. So they're a great team to use, so don't forget to use that team. You had a hard time matching them against the all-time Lakers. All right, guys. Number two, I'm going to go with the all-time Celtics because you got Bill Russell, the man that won 11 rings in the NBA. You got Larry Bird, a.k.a. Larry Legend. You got Bob Cousy, you got Paul Pierce, the truth. You got John Habitat, the man that went undefeated, A and O in the finals. That dude cannot be stopped. You got Jason Tatum, that guy is added this year in this game today. And you got Juan John Wando. You got JoJo White. Who else you have? You got Kevin McHale. You have Dave Collins. You got Kevin Garnett, the big ticket, the guy that won Defensive Player of the Year in 2008. So this team is stacked and loaded, man. You got to learn how to use these guys. The problem is their movement kind of suck. But the only person who could really move fast is Bob Cousy because he's a point guard or maybe Juan John Wando. But you got to learn how to score with these guys. And they're very consistent and their defense is on point. Especially you got Bill Russell, the man that got 11 rings. I know he can't shoot, but on defense, he go crazy. Number one is the all-time Warriors, man. I'm gonna tell y'all why. They are the greatest shooters of all time, man. All these, most of these guys got a 99 three ball, 99 rent range, and all these Hall of Fame shooting badges, man. How do you stop that? You got guys like Steph Curry, the two-time MVP. You got Klay Thompson. That dude is so consistent. You got Kevin Durant. That dude is like 6'11", going crazy with the three-point range. You can't stop him, man. He's too tall and fast, kind of. 
And you got Rook Chamberlain. Rook is still the man that scored 100 points. He go crazy on defense and offense. I wish he got Hall of Fame on defense. And you got Rick Berry and Draymond Green. This team go crazy. And Bam and Davis. Oh, man.